Beatrice Essay, this is High Priestess Ashodara Singh. Welcome and a very, very happy new year to all of you once again. This is the month of February that we are in, the, the year 2024. I hope you're all used to uh, 2024 and not 2023 uh, like yours truly. Today we are going to cover the general predictions in this video and uh, we are going to firstly read out the messages and then the cards that have already been drawn out will be shown and explained. So let's begin. This month, the month of February is all about energy. When I say energy, it means all sorts of energy. It doesn't mean um, energy in terms of good energy or bad energy, happy energy. Energy does not have an adjective that is pre-assigned to it. It is your vibrational frequency that defines the energy that you're putting out there. So please remember that. I have spoken to many of you. I have chatted up many of you and I and I come across many of you who say that you have done a lot of reading about energy. We are all made of energy, right? And it is a very loosely used term, but it is a word that has a lot of power in itself. A thought can also have energy. If you keep thinking about it, like a light bulb, it starts illuminating really, 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 um, uh, uh, you know, bright. And by the time you realize it, it's become something that is shining and causing you a lot of, um, you know, backlash. So remember that. And that is what this month is made of, which basically means think of how to convert your thoughts into energy. And these are those things that you invite into your life knowingly but don't regret it right at work or at business whatever whatever you're in if you're a professional or a business person each challenge that you face in the month of february will either make or break you if you choose to find a way and not an excuse then your personal development will be noteworthy if not praiseworthy this means that there will be challenges obstacles that you face at work um, or whether you're a professional, whether you're a business person, but at work, okay, in terms of finance. And this will be something that either you'll throw your hands up in the air and say, no, it's too tough for me, I'm not doing it. Or uh, you will, um, you know, you will lock horns with it and you're going to ensure that you cross that bridge, you clear that obstacle. Um, and if you choose to do the latter and not the former, if you choose to clear the obstacle, then your personal development will be something that you will be proud of even if others haven't noticed it remember every time you face a hardship and you overcome it that is something that you yourself should acknowledge before you expect other people to acknowledge it most of us wait for someone else to pat us in our backs instead of ourselves congratulating our own selves okay that's the main point here Personal life will have passion and passionate encounters. Be careful about the old flame syndrome though. So if there is somebody from your past who you had a soft corner for and that person uh, comes in, back into your life, then uh, be careful if you're already in a relationship because there is nobody who puts their feet in on two boats and expect not to sink. It's very difficult to balance and of course it is bad karma and it is bad um, um, everything else also you would remember what goes around comes around like the Ouroboros so if you are going to do something that you don't want to be done to yourself then you give that some thought about what is it that you're actually doing all right find a few minutes each day for some peace and alone time this is something that is very difficult for so many of us since there is always one thing that is waiting to be done after the thing that you're doing at the moment is finished. Having said that, this is something that you really require because if you keep jumping from one thing to another, you will burn out really fast and you don't want to do that, right? So there has to be some me time that you take out during the day and that is something that you need to focus on and try and be consistent with it, not once a week, but daily. And it doesn't have to be one hour, it can even be five minutes not not less than that focus on self-care and choose to be where you will grow the most even if it is tough at times so 
you need to focus on yourself and caring about yourself um you don't if you are in if you are hurt or if you're upset or if you're not feeling too good you're a bit under the weather you have to fix yourself instead of waiting for things to get worse when things go out of hand only then will i will i handle it if you do that then things will really not just go out of hand but it will it will become um something and reach a point that will make you feel that you should have tackled it earlier when it started right um choose to be where you will grow the most even if it is tough at times so like i said earlier in the first point if there is something that makes that challenges you and makes you you know take a double take or rethink um as to your actions or plan of actions it doesn't necessarily have to be the wrong path it can be something that needs to be rethought it can be something that needs to be um redone but it doesn't necessarily mean a misdirection february 9th feb 9th is when the new moon is in aquarius so that's the new moon um please protect your calf ankle skin the achilles heel uh and watch out for corners so bumping and hitting and hurting yourself is something you should watch out for so be careful about it watch where you're walking and watch where you're putting your feet uh around feb 9th uh, when the new moon in aquarius takes place you are going to welcome new beginnings and push yourself out of the comfort of procrastination what a beautifully annoying phrase comfort of procrastination laziness we were born lazy and uh, it comes very naturally to us think about it over the weekend um you don't want to do what is required to be done um in the entire week and that is why we look forward to the weekend right whether it is an adult or a child doesn't matter and uh what happens as a result is uh, the beginning of the week becomes that much more difficult for us so that's what i'm talking about comfort of procrastination don't let yourself slip down to a point that laziness becomes your second skin because your discipline will go for a toss your motivation goes out of the window and then your performance as as a result of that your results go down the drain so think about it it's a it's a snowball effect and you don't want to cause an avalanche The full moon in Virgo is on February twenty fourth. You need to look after your gut health, viewers, which means um, think what you're eating and and tell yourself this while before you even open your mouth to put in that morsel, whether it's something that is good for you or something that you're just having because it is available or it is stale in the refrigerator or it's something which uh, everyone else is doing. So heck, why why not me? Or you're in an experiment, whatever it is. But please. remember your gut health is important especially around the full moon which is uh, feb 24th you will see things more clearly now and you will make the necessary adjustments that is again happening around the full moon all right so these are your predictions for the month of feb 2024 let me show you what the cards say for you all all right i've already drawn them out so there's a page of cups this card uh, says that uh, you will be either uh, giving out an emotional message or receiving one your energy will be um very youthful jovial lively um maybe mildly temperamental so watch out for saying something or you know just accidentally messaging something to someone that could be misunderstood because it could be like an like a thing that you didn't mean but then you know it might just hit home and hurt someone so just be careful of that or the other way around if this is happening to you then just well you know deal with it nicely sweetly and in a gentle manner the emperor card is here to say that you could be an aries or dealing with one this card also means that you are taking decisions in your life keeping an active action oriented um elderly male or masculine energy in your life this could also be a mentor or a an adult of the family this card also means you're thinking about securing the future of your um of your of the next generation could be your siblings uh could be your of springs could be uh, your nephew nieces etc aries uh, this card comes under aries so here you will have to be a little more careful about um how how temperamental are you are you going to because you may just um, be a little impatient impulsive restless and uh, it is also possible that you might speak before thinking that is something that you should be very 
careful about and of course ego is something that you should also be extremely careful about once this card comes out all right the lovers card well uh, this card says that uh, you could be a gemini or dealing with one this card also means that you need to take care of your of yourself in terms of loving yourself in, in terms of i and personal grooming is just one aspect i keep telling all of you there is much more to it than personal grooming when i speak about self love you need to stay positive you need to watch what you say to yourself you need watch you need to watch how you treat yourself you have to love yourself tremendously which means you are first and the whole world comes after i know it sounds like you're selfish or maybe bordering narcissistic but that's not it if you don't take care of yourself you will be useless to someone else even if you love that person so give that some thought okay this card of course also means that there might be love in the cards for those of you who are out in the market for it nine of coins or the nine of pentacles is the next card this says don't go by the gender you could be a male also this card says that uh, um, you are going to be attracted to the luxuries you will want uh, to wear something nice and flowy or you know wear something shiny uh, it could be a bobble or trinket it could be jewelry you you will be attracted to everything that is glitzy and glamorous and that is something that is happening because you're emanating or giving out the kind of energy uh, we call it glossy energy in blue magic which means that this is something which will uh, not just attract more uh, good money towards you but also people will be attracted towards you friends and uh, acquaintances who will be attracted towards you because of this so just uh, be careful that at the end of the day you don't get drained out because this energy depletes very quickly okay remember that all right uh, the next card mirror remember we spoke about it i'm gonna take a sip of my chai so the mirror card speaks about you uh, reminding yourself that what you're seeing out there in the universe is doing nothing else but mirroring what you're thinking how you're feeling so if you're feeling really good about something even if you're faking it and if you continuously tell yourself that that's actually how it will turn out okay and when that happens remind yourself that everything that is coming towards you will be something that will make you feel good but if you are not feeling good and if you continue in that mind frame that you're not feeling okay there will be experiences that you will come across that will make you feel exactly like that and that's why the term mirror is here right so if you want good things and good experiences and good feelings um, to come your way then you will have to you will have to create it all right uh, the first quarter moon says your commitment is being tested interesting um, this could be your personal life this could be your professional life and of course this could be both your commitment is being tested remember viewer you all have chosen um, your life paths that is divided and then subdivided into uh, places that you are walking at at the moment and the, and the kind of path that you have chosen is unique um, there will be a point when you will feel that should you continue on that journey or should you just you know take a break or change your direction or you know take some advice at that point of time you need to tell yourself that you are being tested as to how committed are you and uh, well i don't have anything against people who follow uh, you know their paths till the end but at some point of time you really need to know if all the you know because there, there were certain factors involved when you started on a journey you need to ensure that the same factors exist if they have if if they have changed then yes you need to take a you need to think twice but if the factors have improved or they are the same then you need or maybe you have changed so then you will have to um, sit tight and think about why you're feeling like this and the last card says bear of dispelling fear and overcoming adversity you need to uh, overcome your adversaries and protect yourself from malevolent energies so there seems to be some kind of uh, uh, dark magic that is you know being played around you or by by people who have a bone to pick with you uh, it's quite possible and that's why the card is showing you need to overcome that and you need to overcome people who um, consider them your you to be their enemy or somebody that uh, that they you know you i there's an opposition there's an opposite effect happening here 
so that needs to be and it, that's what's making you a little psychic crazy you know like a little little unnecessarily fearful and uh, negative and pessimistic get in touch with us let's see if we can do a dragon dragon spell for you because this card should be taken seriously and if you are somebody who's feeling like that then uh, you do need to have something done before things go out of hand all right please remind yourself this is a general prediction if you want to have a personalized prediction you will have to get in touch with us um you have our number by now and we will patch you across to one of our readers we have a fantastic panel of um our tarot readers and they will be able to customize your reading and answer all your questions and then some all right i will see you in the next couple of videos take care of yourselves until then love light and knowledge to you all and om sarve bhavantu sukhina yatasase